Secretary Carlin. Uh, Ma'am, do you believe that st stability in the Middle East is any way possible, shape, form, or fashion, honestly? Sure. It's stability in the Middle East is writ, writ large. Uh, I, I do believe we can have some stability and security in the Middle East. O over the years, it has gone up and down. Right now, if we just look at Yemen as an example, we've had the longest period of quiet since the Civil War uh, broke out, and that is indeed a positive. Okay. But you, you said this morning any efforts to increase security and stability in the region should be welcomed by all. And, of course, China has worked with Iran to build relationships with the Saudis you believe that that should be welcomed? I think efforts to bring um, the countries together in a more peaceful way are a positive. Uh, that said, I think it is quite clear that uh, many of our Gulf countries have a threat perception of Iran's <coughs> irresponsible and aggressive behavior that is quite in line with uh, ours as well. Okay. China seems to be attempting to become a diplomatic actor in the region. Do you think that's a good thing? I think to the extent the People's Republic of China is trying to play a more positive role in the region, that is a good thing. I do want to emphasize that there is absolutely no comparison to the level, scope, scale of U.S. involvement in the Middle East, decades and decades long, than what we say the People's Republic of China. I would also just note for our partners in the Middle East, of course, that, uh, that as they increasingly cooperate with uh, the People's Republic of China, we will, of course, um, look at the technological implications of, of that cooperation, the communications uh, of, of that cooperation as well, um, to ensure that uh, our robust relationship can, uh, can, can result in the security that, that we need to. Yes, ma'am. I feel like any, any effort of the Chinese towards anything is, is looking out for China. And with them, their involvement in the Middle East, I think that is, um, to me, that's, that's a dangerous situation. I think it shows especially any, any alignment with Iran, who's, who have stated that they don't believe Israel should exist, to me, is, a, is an affront to me and a lot of people that I represent. Um, do you think the Chinese involvement in the Middle East is a threat to the Abraham Accords? Uh, I don't know that I would see it as a threat to the Abraham Accords per se. I think on the face of it, it is clear that the People's Republic of China has a relationship with Iran, and it is also clear that, like us, uh, the Gulf countries are worried, understandably, about Iran's irresponsible and aggressive uh, behavior. So I think um, that the those who participate in the Abraham uh, Accords would want to be uh, aware of how how various countries understand the threats uh, in the region, who is fomenting threats in the region, and how best to tackle them. Okay, the, the Israeli Defense Chief of Staff says Iran has right now has more enriched uranium than ever before, and um, is increasingly aggressive. Do you think your plan of de deterrence is working? We take uh, efforts um, to deter Iran very seriously across the U.S. Uh, government. Uh, I would note most recently in late March um, when there was an attack by Iranian-sponsored militias, uh, the U.S. military responded, I think, within 12 hours or so, and we believe the Iranians understood what that response was as well. Okay, again, I would, I would hope the State Department and the White House would pay special attention to the situation with Iran. I just, uh, with their uh, statements of hostility towards Iran historically and currently, I think is, it ought to be a, 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 a note of awareness for us. And if the Chinese are hooking up with them, I would be really concerned. So anyway, thank you, ma'am. I <coughs> yield the remainder of my three seconds.